name is? His name is? Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, we know that he's holding us in his arms this morning. Now that you are near. Hallelujah. Just see the Lord. Just experience the Lord holding you in his arms, church. Hallelujah. Hold me in your arms, never let me go. I want to spend eternity with you. Hold me in your arms, never let me go. I want to spend eternity with you. I stand before you, Lord, and give you all my praise. Your love is all I need. Jesus, you're all I need. My life belongs to you. You gave your life for me. Your grace is all I need. Jesus, you're all I need. Hold me in your arms. And in 
true this morning, my God. Lord, you called us to worship you in spirit and in truth this morning, my God. You said, God, is those that worship you must worship you in spirit and in truth. So, Father, I pray you release a spirit of praise upon your people this morning, my God. Those who can sing, Lord, I pray. Lord, they will sing unto you. Lord, those who can worship, they will worship unto you. Not unto me, my God, but not unto man, my God, but they will worship you, the true and the living God this morning. Hallelujah. So, Father, release a spirit of praise upon your people this morning, my God. Release it, Lord, upon them this morning, my God. Let your mouths be filled with praise. My God, fill your mouths with words of wisdom. Words out to you this morning, my God. Fill your mouths to worship you this morning, my God. Let the glory of God be upon us. Let it come down in the sanctuary this morning, my God. Lord, I pray this morning, my God, you will touch us all this morning with a fresh anointing this morning, my God. Breathe a fresh upon us. Breathe the fire of the Holy Ghost upon us this morning, my God. Break yokes and shackles and chains this morning, my God. My God, those who are in bondage this morning, liberate them, my God. Set them free this morning, my God. My God, just touch by your spirit this morning, my God. Lord, as we worship you, as we concentrate, as we center our hearts and our minds upon you this morning, my God. Father, I pray you touch the young people in this assembly this morning, my God. Lord, I pray this morning, my God, you administer to the young ones among us this morning, my God. Lord, I pray your Holy Spirit will quicken their spirit this morning, my God. Lord, I pray your Holy Spirit will draw them unto you, dear, our Father, this morning. Lord, I pray for the baptism of the Holy Ghost upon the young people this morning. I pray, Father, they will have a desire, the hunger of a thirst for righteousness, the hunger for holiness, to be baptized by the power of the Holy Ghost this morning, my God. Touch them, my God, because they are the future. Should you tarry, my God, they are the future of the church this morning, my God. So, Father, I pray you touch the young people in this assembly this morning, my God. Give them a spirit of boldness this morning, my God. Let your boldness come upon them this morning, my God. You have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind this morning, my God. Lord, I praise you and I thank you this morning, my God. Hallelujah. Glory to your precious name. Just put your hands together for the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to your precious name. Young people, let me just say to you, don't be ashamed to worship the Lord when you come to church. You all are the future. Should Jesus tarry and we pass on, you are the ones who will be here. Amen. So give the Lord your all this morning. When you come into the house of the Lord, you know the songs. You sing it and you reach out this morning. Let nothing distract you this morning. And the only way you can reach us is when you close your eyes and you concentrate on the Lord this morning. When you close your eyes, you will not see anything around you to distract you. When you close your eyes and you worship the Lord, you know that he will receive your praise and your worship this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. We know that we are leaning on the everlasting arms. After three nights of services, my God, this place should be power packed this morning. This place should be so anointed after what we received for those three nights this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength this morning. The word of God said, we shall walk and not fade. We shall run and not grow weary this morning. But they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. And they shall mount up. We shall mount up. Like we go, eagles, we are not eagles, but we shall mount up like eagles. Eagles mount up and they soar. So we want to soar with the Lord this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. What a fellowship. What a joy divine. What a fellowship. What a joy divine. Leaning on the
Hallelujah. We know that the Lord's name is strong and a mighty tower. We know that his name is a shelter like no other. Hallelujah. His name is powerful this morning. Amen. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy to be thanked and praised and worship and adore this morning. Your name this morning. Hallelujah. We come to lift your name, Jesus. We come to exalt your name, Jesus. We come to magnify your name, Jesus. For there is no other name given among my God, whereby men can be saved this morning. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to your precious name. Your name is a strong and mighty tower. Amen. As morning dawns and evening fades, you inspire songs of praise that rise from the
this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to his precious name. We know that he is forever in our lives this morning. Hallelujah. Through it all, you are forever in our lives this morning. As long as we keep you in our lives, my God, you will remain in our lives this morning. But if we put you aside from our lives, Lord, you would not be in our lives this morning. So, Father, we thank you. We can embrace you in our lives this morning. Hallelujah. There is no other greater than you that we can embrace in our lives this morning. Hallelujah. You are forever in my life. You see me through the seasons. Cover.
Be the center of your 
Jesus. Lift your hands one more time, everyone, in His presence. Church, don't forget what the Lord has done for you, what He taught you this past week. Put into action. Reach out. Press through. You know what you have need of. You know what you desire today. 
you know your present condition you know there are times when nothing else can work and nothing else will help you and nobody else can can do anything for you just like that woman with the issue of blood she reached and she pressed through to touch his grace folks understand don't just for those of you who are here this past three nights lift your hands and press through or else nothing will happen we don't want to go through the mechanism we want to meaningfully worship the Lord lift your hands please lift your voices please you sing now you talk to him you've been singing now you talk to him can you praise the Lord can you lift your voice can you open your mouth and praise him does somebody want to push you to do it or do you really want to do it do you really want to do it from your heart you said from your heart from our hearts to the heavens do you really want to worship him from your heart today or are you in church just because it's Sunday are you here because it's Sunday are you visiting God or do you really want to touch the throne of God and get a breakthrough in your life and get rid of the things that are hindering you from the blessings and the grace and the anointing come on lift your voices and worship him Lord help us my God help us Jesus It's either God or the devil. It's either God or the devil. But we can't serve both. You either serve God or you serve the world. You need to reach out and let God know He is the center of your life. Come on, lift your, lift your voices and worship Him. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise You. My God. Nobody can. Nobody else can. Nobody else can. Nobody else can do it for you. Nobody else can help you. Understand that today. Nobody else can help you. Reach out to the Lord Jesus Christ. Reach out and touch His power. Touch His anointing. You need healing. You need deliverance. Whatever you need today. You have to seek Him. You have to seek Him fervently. You have to seek Him meaningfully. You have to seek Him faithfully. You have to seek Him persistently. You have to persevere. Praise. You have to give Him the sacrifice of praise. You have to be desperate. Hallelujah. My God. My God. How hungry are we? How hungry are we for a breakthrough? How, how hungry are we for God to touch our lives and move us to another level? Help us today, Lord. Help us today, my Lord, Jesus, you are precious, you are mighty, Lord, Lord, I worship you, oh Lord, I exalt you, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord, I worship you, Jesus, mighty God, you are Jesus, precious Jesus.
Father, we give you praise today. Lord, thank you for your presence. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your divine grace. And Lord, we ask that the anointing will reach our hearts and remove every obstacle today. Touch every vessel in this house. Every person watching today, whatever they are faced up with, whatever predicament they are in, whatever is happening in their lives today, Lord, you be the center of it all. Let them know today that there is hope in the name of Jesus. There is no one else that can solve our problems but Jesus. And now Lord, speak to our hearts today and give us understanding, knowledge. Give us wisdom. Impart your truth to us. Lord, help us never to leave here the same. Help us to leave with an understanding how frail we are, how weak we are, how earthen we are without you, how dependent we are, how much we need you, how much we have to depend on you. Help us today. And give us that understanding. And to live consequent to your coming. And hope for that though. Father, I thank you today. Bless everything being done for your glory. In Jesus' name. And all the people said, Amen and Amen. Give the Lord a good hand of praise if you will. Hallelujah. And we say welcome to those of you watching again. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Glad that you have the opportunity to join us online, wherever you are, whatever part of the world. We say God bless you and stay tuned. The Lord will bless you even more today. Let's put our hands together and welcome our viewing audience internationally and locally. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Turn around, hug the person next to you and say, I haven't seen you for a while. Good to see you this morning. And you may have your seat. Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Praise His mighty name. God is good. A pleasant good morning to each and every one of you. So good to have you again in the house of the Lord. I hope that you are enjoying your Christian life. And for those of you who said amen, God bless you. Continue to enjoy it. Those of you planning to, I hope you get there quickly. 
But we are glad that we are Christians this morning. Especially when we look around the world and see all the terrible things that are happening. Aren't you glad you're living in Trinidad? Aren't you glad you're living in Trinidad? And those of you living elsewhere and you're watching, welcome to Trinidad. Praise the Lord. But, you know, you're born in a palace, you're royal. You're born in the dungeon or the slump, you're what? You're nothing. See, we cannot choose where we want to be born. We cannot choose our names and we cannot choose our parents. Some things we just learn to be thankful to God for. How many of you prayed for me today? How many of you just lied? I forgive you. Get your Bible is out. Those of you watching, you need your Bible. Praise the Lord. If you don't have a Bible, sell your TV, buy a Bible. Sell your computer and buy a Bible. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 2. I want to speak to you on the topic, His treasure in earthen vessels. Everybody say that. His treasure in earthen vessels. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Everybody say it together now. Begin. All right, tell it to somebody now. Make sure they understand what you're talking about. Ephesians 2.1 And you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. You have he quickened. You have he quickened. Say quickened. Made alive. Who were dead in trespasses and sins. Church, Everything we need today is based not on our sacrifices, but His love and sacrifices. Everything we need is based on His love and sacrifice. You have to recognize who you are. We, we are a piece of clay. Look at yourself, a piece of clay. Some shape nice, some shape, 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 and some shape. We are just a piece of dirt moving. But what is moving us? We were nothing when God made us something. We were just dust. Dirt. Look at somebody say, you, you, you were a piece of dirt. No, you ought to say it nice, eh? You are, you're just a nice piece of dirt. <laughs> All right. We... We're just nothing. God made us something when he breathed into us. His breath. After we were formed in his image and likeness. He breathed into us his breath. And man became a living soul. Now look at us today. My goodness. Now look at somebody and say, no, you're beautiful. You're handsome. You're beautiful. Now we, we, we reverse that thing, right? All right. Now as human beings, we have needs. And all our needs are as a result of the fall that took place in Genesis just about 6,000 years ago. And everything we need is based not on our sacrifices, but on His sacrifice. Not our self-righteousness. It's not our self-righteousness, but His righteousness. Now, because of His righteousness, now we can receive all that He has in store for the righteous. You know, God has made provision for us to receive all that we have need of. See, man? As a result of the fall, we have need. But God has made provision through His righteousness to receive all that we have need of. So, we have to understand that we are nothing without Him. We are nothing without Him. So, all our sacrifices and effort is meaningless unless we acknowledge that without Him we can do nothing. And we cannot think of ourselves as somebody or something or very important without His righteousness because it's not our self-righteousness. And not our accomplishment, but His super abounding grace. Because of His super abounding grace, we can do all things through Christ 
We can have all things that we have need of, not want, that we have need of through Christ. We can access by the grace of God. Now, let us get a little understanding of who we are, who we are as a natural man, as a natural human being struggling as an earthen vessel with our Christ. Let's go to Romans chapter 7. Romans chapter 7. And reading from verse 9, he said, For I was alive without the law once. This is the Apostle Paul giving us a rundown of the condition of his life without the divine uh, treasure of God's presence. For I was alive without the law once. But when the commandment came, sin revived and I died. Sin revived and I died. In other words, the commandment tells me that I'm dead in sin. I am dead in sin. And the command, co commandment which, 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 which was ordained to life, I found to be unto death. So everything I read about in that law, it tells me I am sentenced to die. Are you following me? Why? For sin, taken occasion by the commandment, deceived me and by it slew me. So I am dead in my trespasses and sin. Are you getting it now? For sin, taken occasion by... By the commandment, deceive me. So it slew me. So I'm dead. Next verse. Let's go on to verse 14. For we know, for we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal. We are just a natural human being in mud, in clay. Sold under sin. Subject to sin. For what? Now watch this now. You will notice that he keeps using I, 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 I. I am this. I was that. I can't try. I'm trying this. I'm trying that. And it's about I, me, myself. You understand that? So without, without the treasure in this earthen vessel, it's going to be I, 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 I. But with the treasure, it's going to be him, he. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Jesus is, is, is about him. So here's what Paul says. For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would that...